The style battles are set, but there is one more thing that you should know. There's always one more thing. Your tattoos must speak for themselves because today, all of your tattoos will be judged blind. It's gonna be a fun one. True battle. That's big. You fought hard to get to this point, but the battle is far from over. Ready for it? <laughs> Go, man. To earn your spot in the finale, you must first survive a tattoo marathon. Oh, I have never done a tattoo marathon before. I mean, I've run a 10K, didn't do very well. <laughs> so hopefully that's not a metaphor for what's about to happen. Each of you will create one design for the marathon. What? The subject and style are completely up to you. Then all of you must tattoo your design and the three other designs created by your competitors, creating four head-to-head -head comparisons. You have 90 minutes to tattoo each design, one after another, on the same canvas. 90 minutes, you're never gonna do anything badass. It's always gonna be just simple. But there is one more thing you should know. Since art is blind and has no gender, your art must speak for itself. Because today, all of your tattoos will be judged blind. Damn, I didn't see that coming. This really sucks, because I'm either gonna do really good that they're gonna think it's me, or I'm gonna do really bad that they're not gonna think it's me. Or they'll think it's me, and then I'm gonna think that they think I'm bad. Today, the artist had to survive a tattoo marathon. This is the most nervous I think I've been so far. The time yeah. limit, man. Today just shows what you can do under the most pressure in the least amount of time. <laughs> not great. We're gonna judge these things blind. Let's see how they did. I feel like I'm about to throw up. First up is Danny's illustrative black and gray design. Very simple. You got circles, you got lines. Let's take a look at the first tattoo. That's yeah, mine. There's problems on this thing. It's not a perfect circle at the top. The exterior line goes flat. The soft shading looks really nice, but the solid black areas don't look super solid. I'm willing to say that I don't think Danny tattooed this. This is technically the most difficult one to pull off. Let's look at the next one. Oh, it's fine. I like the way the top of the key shaded. And the areas that are circles appear more circular. But the way they leave the pupil of the eye white, very strange. That was an artistic choice. Let's move on to the third tattoo. That's mine. Way smoother. I think this is Danny's. We'll see. Let's move on to the fourth one. This perfect hollow round negative space all the way around the circle of the key doesn't give any dimension. It's just a bunch of light gray that doesn't get super smooth. Ooh. Let's look at all four of the same tattoo together. Number three is the best one, I would say. Yeah, number three. Oh, my God. Now I'm ready to be the bottom of all the rest. If you're gonna win any of them, it's best to win on your own. Yeah, I think so too. Next up is Jason's new school design. It leaves a lot open to see what people do. Oh, yeah. You, you know can what tattoo I mean? this a bunch of different ways. Let's get into the first tattoo. Oh, that's mine. I mean, good application, but if you're going to hit new school, you can't just have green and light green. You got to have a contrasting color. Because I had plenty of time to do that. Let's move on to the second tattoo. Oh, it's mine. What happened to this one? This thing just looks dirty. Why does that yellow stop and go to open skin in the mouth when the eyes are solid green inside? I didn't have enough time. Moving along. That one's mine. From a distance, the color glow looks cool, but that mouth, not clean saturation at all. Do you think this is a time issue? Like, they spent all their time trying to outline these things and then couldn't finish the color? Talk about dropping the ball on that one, Jason. Let's look at the fourth one. Let's see if there's a redeeming one in here. Good luck, dude. Here we go. The outline on this one is rough everywhere in the teeth. The mouth of this thing got away from everybody. That's crazy. Nothing connects anywhere. That's a lot of work to do in that amount of time. Sorry, everybody. Let's take a look at all four of these tattoos together. Tattoo number one's looking better all of that a sudden. That thing looks amazing right now. Two, three, and four, to me, they're all in the same boat. This whole round right here are not good. Damn, my design everybody up. Let's take a look at Laura's new school design. Definitely leaves some interpretation to be done with this line drawing, for sure. Let's take a look at the first tattoo. Oh, that's mine. If you look at the outlines on the tips of the mohawk, look at the points, look at the wobbly lines. Somebody was in a hurry. You think? Let's look at the next one. Oh, that's mine. Everything has a nice balance between the green, the magenta, the purple. I like the light source on the brow. This is a well executed Night and tattoo. Night day from what we just saw. Third tattoo. 
There's a lot of line discrepancies in this big, bold outline on the Mohawk. There's not really a lot of saturated black inside the divots or the darker areas on the side of the skull. The blue's not really standing out properly. I still like my tattoo. Let's move on to the fourth tattoo. There's a lot of problems connecting the tips of all of the points to the Mohawk. This Mohawk detail on this thing is killing everybody. They need to paint the Mohawk one solid color instead of trying to do fades and do all this stuff. It eats the clock. Let's look at all four of the same tattoos. Number one is the bottom. Number two for me, all around, is the top. You won over my design again. Next up is Jake's color neo-traditional design. Lucky dragon's foot, Chris. I like the posture of the claws. Let's look at the first tattoo. Simple color palette is nice. The line work looks smooth. Make it clean and simple. I think that's a smart move. Overall, pretty sharp. Let's move on to the second tattoo. Oh, that's mine. I don't like this one too much. It gets a little muddy. There's also a lot of outline problems on this thing. Opted to not put in those rope lines. It would have helped because the unparalleled lines stand out like a sore thumb. Let's take a look at the third one. Here we go. It's a smart color plate to have a contrasting color from the top to the bottom, and then a different color for the rope to intertwine so nothing gets lost. It is more legible than the one we just saw. Let's look at the fourth one. In that fitting where the claw's going into, that black with that yellow pounded over it with then that white looks messy. That does not look clean. That isn't doing anybody any favors here. Jason does not feel good right now. Let's compare all four of these. Well, the ones with the right color palette look the strongest, like number one. I'm going to say that Jake did the first one, just because. That's the one that looks like the person that knew what they were doing? Exactly. I don't know. Every single critique went different than I thought was going to happen. I'm not surprised at all. I knew that those tattoos were going to be hard to do in that amount of time, and I knew the tattoos I did were not great. Well, I'm in the middle of the road, <laughs> not at the bottom. This week, you had to survive a tattoo marathon. While each of you had high points in the marathon, all of you also had low points. However, in this competition, you must always be at the top of your game. Based on your work in the tattoo marathon, no one is safe. This is going to be interesting. Art is the equalizer in this because you guys are a dead heat. There's no one person in the room that's like, boom, yeah, they locked it in. At this point, everybody needs to excel to prove who is actually going to earn the spot. Yeah. All right, coaches, it is time to start the Clash of the Coaches face-off. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Ow! Count it. So nice. All right, here we go. Just a bunch of heavy competition. It's kind of like a battle of the titans. I love the fact that you're stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something that's very, very unique. My head said flowers and gemstones, and my heart said gangster tiger. Woo! You're halfway to go, girl. We got a little bit of web trading to go over here. I just wanted to make it to the finale and tattoo against the best that there is. I mean, you're not tattooing against the best there is because I'm standing here behind you, not working. Sucks to suck. I don't know what to tell you. Who do you feel is your biggest competition right now? I mean, I'm always worried about DJ, of course. This tattoo is huge. It's a risk, and if you can pull it off, it's going to be worth it. Taking risks in competitions is number one. Hell yeah. Are you familiar with the feeling of a clock bearing down on you every single second that goes by? We're in a bad place, girl. You're down to one hour, and that's a lot of work left. Yeah, bad place is you right next to me. Get the hell out of here. I'm oh. busy. Came down here. You ain't lying, man. I'm ready. All right, as you know, the coaches had to tattoo either black and gray, surrealistic, new school, or neo traditional. $25,000 is on the line, and we have no idea who tattooed what because we are judging these tattoos blind. You guys ready? Yeah. Send in the first canvas, please. This is exciting. I like this. All right, let's see the tattoo. Wow. 
Man, this is a big tattoo. They played with a lot of contrast. Killer drawing, man. Lots of tiny little detail and also a lot of dark black, but the whole image is very legible because of the contrast and a lot of open skin. Tattooed really smooth. All right, thank you very much. All right, guys, put in your rankings right now. All right, guys, here we go. Let's take a look at this tattoo. Now that's nice. The way these multiple images are intertwined and all the details show through, the face beautifully illustrated and then the swan just appearing out of it and all the filigree swirls and the solid background color. It's really rich, it's really vibrant and the detail just in the black and gray contrast against the background color really hits it. That is definitely true. Thank you very much. All right guys, rank the surrealistic tattoo. All right, canvas number three. Let's have a look. That is beautiful. To see a strong new school tattoo done in black and gray with a lot of contrast, it really stands out. Everything's legible. It's a killer illustration. I like it. Smooth black and gray tattoo, so it definitely has to challenge what it's supposed to be. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at the next canvas. I love this vintage look, especially in a tattoo that's done really strong and powerful like this. Overall, the composition of this is really fun. It's playful. It's got a 50s sexy kind of look to it. Want to take a guess? I don't know, man. Nobody's really pulled this off in front of us, so it's hard to say who might have done this. Interesting. Thank you very much. Everybody's killing it. All right, let's take a look at the next canvas. Here she comes. And let's have a look at this tattoo. This one stands out pretty strong too. It's a fun, playful design. You have some tricks in here where you have layers of green leaves and then the lighter color fading the back and a little bit of background color around the front of the tiger that also plays on that same color tone. It's very smart color play here. <laughs> All right, thank you. This is our second to last canvas. Let's take a look at your tattoo. Whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> Man, what a great take on surrealism here. Just really playing with the in and out of focus of the different areas, different layers that really show depth. It doesn't even look like it's flat on the skin. No, it doesn't. Those blacks are so saturated to create that depth and that dimension. It's got a really cool graphic look to it. To go for this and to know that you're up against the clock, there's a strong air of confidence in there. Cray cray. Okay, well, Canvas, thank you. And finally, send in the last Canvas. And let's have a look. Wow. Compositionally, to have all that heaviness surrounding this figure and then to bring that soft, powdery shading in the face is really beautiful because that thing stands out. And what's beautiful is the jawline. You see that nice, strong area around the jaw. You get the nice light off the bottom. All of the shading on the darker side of the face stands strong. But what's great here is the commingling of the hair with the garment, and then these light little touches of leaves. Everything has a nice balance. Thank you. The judges have ranked your tattoos, and the scores have been tallied. The coach with the highest ranking tattoo will walk away with $25,000. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right, if your tattoo appears on the screen, please step forward. Let's reveal the seventh ranked tattoo. best tattooers that I know. And every tattoo I saw was really good. That thing's rad, Megan. This is a great tattoo. You didn't lose in my book. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I love this tattoo, Megan. Thank you. Please have a seat. Okay. All right, it is time to reveal the sixth ranked tattoo. This is a shocker. I really like this tattoo a lot. I think you did kill her. That black and gray is nice. Technical skills, I know I got it. You do. Thank you, Jimmy. Please have a seat. And now, the fifth ranked tattoo. I'm so scared. Just like high school, getting ranked. Oh. I think on any other day, these would all be winning tattoos. It's awesome to see you come out and do this. I did not have this pegged for you. That's what I was going for. 
Great job, Duffy. Thank Thanks you so guys. much. <laughs> Time to reveal the fourth ranked tattoo. This is like the most tense thing ever. Wow. Oh. This is definitely an impressive tattoo from you, and I know that you've been spreading your wings a bunch. You really took a swing at it, buddy. Thank you so much. Kick ass. It's awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a seat. All right, please reveal the third ranked tattoo. Nikki, it's a beautiful tattoo. Simple as that, it is a beautiful tattoo. Thanks, Nikki. Please have a seat. Good job, Nikki. It is down to two Ink Masters. This is insane. Two Ink Masters battling it out for $25,000. One of you is about to win the Clash of the Coaches face-off. And it is time to reveal the top ranked tattoo. Whoever's tattoo pops up on that screen wins $25,000. Please reveal the highest ranked tattoo. You got it. You got it. Get out of here. Congratulations, Ryan Ashley. That means you are the winner of the Clash of the Coaches Face-Off and $25,000. DJ, this tattoo is badass, man. Thanks, dude. Congratulations, Thank Ryan. You. Please have a seat. Thank you so much. Today, you must each tattoo whatever state it is that you call home. Uh, this is going to be rough. I hate state tattoos. Now, your tattoos must include the shape of your state, but everything else is completely up to you. I hope no one has Maryland. Maryland is a crazy shaped state. This competition is killing me already. You'll have six hours, and you can tattoo in any style. Get ready. Your canvases are completely open and have been randomly assigned. There is one more thing you should know. Yeah, always something. No matter where you came from, your tattoos must speak for themselves because these tattoos will be judged blind. Oh, what? It's great that it's blind critiques. I mean, there are four returning artists, and this way it shows the rest of the room that there's no playing favorites. It shows you how brutally honest that this competition can be. Fail to impress us, and you will be eliminated. Not me. Good luck. Time for the blind critiques. These guys had to tattoo their states. Let's bring up the first tattoo. California. Oh, that's fine. Instantly recognizable. Just the way the palm tree close to us, it's a black silhouette, and then the palm tree's going off in the distance, get lighter. That's a hard trick to pull off. This artist shows a lot of promise for what's to come. Cool. Killed it. Let's bring up the next one. Oh, it's mine. I don't recognize the state, do you? Nobody knows what Oregon looks like. Oregon. It could be Oregon. This is a really great design. The wood grain and the textures really speaks to the artist's ability. Cool. Next up. Oh, shit. California. It's very legible, big, bold outline. But if you zoom in to the bridge, yeah. yowza. It's not the definition of tight and clean detail at all. Let's look at the next one. Ah. Nevada. Oh, shit, here we go. The actual quality of tattooing in this thing is nice. That highlight down the center of the closest cone to us is done with meticulous care. It's gorgeous. I appreciate it. Next tattoo, another black and gray. All right, California. It's mine. The drawing is not bad, but the technical application is really one of the worst ones of the day. Right at the right side of that palm tree, there is a big blue blowout. I strongly disagree with all of that. You can disagree all you want, but fact of the matter is they're telling you how to win. Let's have a look at the next one. That's me. Oh, Oklahoma is OK. I think it's really beautifully laid out. The black is as dark as the outline, so it looks super clean. <laughs> Let's have a look at the next tattoo. Idaho. Oh my god, that's mine. The pancake itself. It's a potato, bro. Potato. It's a potato? Oh. Idaho's not really known for pancakes. Yes, it's a potato. I literally thought that was a pancake. <laughs> me. I really like the rich black in this tattoo. What I don't like is all the white. I mean, I advised her not to do it. Let's bring up the next tattoo. All right, here we go. 
who would never guess that that was even supposed to be a state. I would say Colorado, but it's very difficult to tell. That was brutal, man. Yeah, it was rough. Let's take a look at the next tattoo. Way more recognizable as Colorado. Looks very smooth, and I like the black and gray shading, but the actual details in the mountain, I don't get the idea of this big, huge mountain range. I just get a couple little small hills here. Those do not look like mountains. That is a freaking ocean scene. What are you talking about? I don't see about? a sky in there. No. Let's have a look at the next one. Deep so dish. It's a deep dish in Illinois. The sauce looks like it could be a garment, the oozing cheese. It's just yellow drips. You got to make things look like what they are. Let's bring up the next one. North Carolina. Here we are. This one has a lot of really chalky look to it because none of the colors saturated. In a competition setting, none of this tattooing is going to cut it. Damn. Moving along. Here we go. Louisiana, they made everything in the tattoo out of four colors. So it's strange. That shape of the state gets lost. Moving on. Texas. I think those are supposed to be blue bonnets, but kind of looks more like cauliflower or something. And it's weird because the star would be white. It's not the worst in the room. Next tattoo. Low Rada. OK, here we go. Definitely have no clue what's going on with the little thing down at the bottom. I'll be addressing the Cuban section of the tattoo, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the little Cuban coffee in the bottom. But the outline around the cup is so wobbly. The simplest parts of the tattoo are the parts that really need to be hit home. I mean, long as Chris said it was a Cuban coffee, he knew it right off the bat. So I'll take that. Let's take a look at the next tattoo. Well, there's some of the shape of Texas. Wild take on anatomy of the rose. And this one petal that's over the top of the state overtakes the shape of the state. And man, that little haze color that's not solid to the outline, I think the name of that color is light bruise. Damn. That hurt. That's not what I thought you were going to do first I time. I did now. simple. Moving along. Up. Oh, here we go. Is there a shape of the state in there? It's Massachusetts. Oh, Mass. I do see it now. Design-wise, a little weird. But the black that's in the sails, it's solid. It whips out. It's all consistent. Best done black that we've seen today for black. That tattoo kind of makes me a little nervous about traditional day. We'll see if we get one. And next tattoo. Oh, uh, Oh, that's the Garden State right there. That's right. The black outline is black. It is deliberate. I like the fade on the bottom of the tomato. Solid whip black out. to solid color. Super nice. Good job. Thank you. Next, the Blue Crab of Maryland. There we go. It's mine. This one has a lot of problems. You have color that overruns the black outline, and then you have the outline where the black doesn't push up to the outline. All these shades grinded on top of each other, blending brown and blue and green, and just overwork the death out of it. It looks like a crab got run over by a tire. I need you to chill. Where are you from again? The West? Come on, son. We are from hey. the West. Hey. Wait a minute. And hey, don't bring the West into this. <laughs> well, we do good tattoos That's over here. That's the South. <laughs> Next up. Massachusetts. Color blending is really rough. Nothing looks saturated. A lot of outline problems. I'm going to say that this goes beyond jitters. <sighs> At least that's out of the way. Let's look at the next one. New York, Lady Liberty. I like the concept, and obviously, I like how this fills the space. The outlines just look like they were done in a bumpy car. Jacked. You know what makes me really happy about this tattoo? That lets me know now that you are no competitor in this competition. I wouldn't say that. I mean, this is the first round. It is the first round. If it was a draft pick, his ass would get left at home. Well, that's it. 20 tattoos. Let's rank these things and see where the ships fall. All right. Jason, you talk a lot of shit. Jason, I, I said from the beginning that I was going to do a mid tattoo, and that's exactly what I did. Why the f are you so. going to come in here and do a mid tattoo, though? You play the game the way you want to play the game, I'll play the game the way I want to play the game. You're a sneaky mo. One by one, the top 12 artists will be revealed. Okay. If you made it into the top 12, you are safe from elimination. Yeah. Shit. All right. I'm so nervous. Let's reveal the number one ranked tattoo. Yeah, Angel. Angel, congratulations. Thank you. Way to come back and just own it. Thank you. Angel, please go ahead and have a seat. Let's bring up the second ranked tattoo. From the Midwest, Frank. I'm glad to see you sitting in second spot. I'm stoked on it, man. Please have a seat. Let's have a look at the third rank tattoo. Yeah, Jessa! All right, win for the East. Please have a seat next to Frank. Let's move on to the number four ranked tattoo. Yeah, there we go, there we go. All right, Hiram, Las Vegas, Nevada. You are safe. Thank you very much. 
Let's bring up the number five ranked tattoo. Hell yeah. Bob. Bob. Bob, congratulations, West Coaster. The sixth ranked tattoo. Jimmy, congratulations. <laughs> Please have a seat. Let's bring up the seventh ranked tattoo. Wow. Jordan, congratulations. The Midwest, once again. Let's move on to the eighth ranked tattoo. This side. Raul, California. Congratulations. Please have a seat. Let's see the ninth ranked tattoo. Jordy. Great state of Florida. Congratulations, you're saved from elimination. Let's see who came in with the 10th ranked tattoo. Colorado. Jarrell, congratulations, please have a seat. Let's take a look at the 11th ranked tattoo. From the Midwest, Kelly, congratulations. All right, we have 11 artists sitting comfortably and safe. We have eight artists standing before us. One spot remains for safety. Let's bring up the 12th ranked tattoo. Shit, shit. Just squeaks by Money Mike. My heart beat fast as hell, man. I'm just happy to be down here. Congratulations, please have a seat. And that means that all 12 spots for safety are full. And this week, there are no teams. What? It's every artist for themselves. Oh my god. Oh, damn. Well, finally, I can act as an individual and just worry about me for once. And not only that, we are heading straight into the elimination tattoo. Brutal. This week, we are testing technical application. Back to the basics. Yeah. It's just another day for us. We can do this. If you don't have good technical application, then you'll be doing sloppy tattoos. Plain and simple. If you can't make a clean line, if you can't do full saturation, your shit's gonna look bad. You know, no, that's Bob. No more scratchy white. Today, you must prove your strength by facing off against another artist in a head-to-head -head style battle, regardless of region. Damn. I don't want to face off against you guys. There are 10 artists remaining, and there will be five different head-to-head -head face offs, each in a completely different style. Okay. Fine line black and gray. Okay, you guys. American traditional. And Jimmy will be doing traditional. Japanese. Biomech. Uh, I'm the biomech guy. I specialize in that shit. I don't think anybody in this room can compete with me in biomech. And tribal. Damn. You yeah. Really? No. Win your style battle, and you will continue to fight another week. Lose, and you will be up for elimination. There's half the room. Five people in the bottom? That's intense, man. The style battles are set. You'll have six hours to tattoo. Your canvases are open and have been randomly assigned. But there is one more thing that you should know. Shit. There's Shit. always one more thing. Your tattoos must speak for themselves, because today, all of your tattoos will be judged blind. It's going to be a fun one. True battle. That's big. Fail to win your head-to-head -head face off, and you will be up for elimination. Good luck. All right, today the artists are facing off in a head-to-head -head style battle, and we're judging these things blind. I know I'm in trouble, but that's obvious. Let's see how they did. Let's take a look at the tribal face-off. Bring up the first tattoo. That's me. I think the design has a cool flow to it. It's bold. I like the shapes and the details that are in it. I like the imagery of the sun and the moon. But it's a little basic for this competition. I would expect next level tribal. I agree with Dave. I think it's entry level tattooing. Let's take a look at the second tattoo. That's mine. A lot of it's not solid. You can see the directional shading. If you look at any of the long, skinny lines, they just get thin and thick, thin and thick, thin and thick, instead of being this continuously smooth line. I think it's safe to say both Jason and I do not do next level tribal. Now let's move on to the American traditional style battle. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. This is Jimmy Snass. Jimmy's black shading, how he whips out, is definitely in this tattoo. I don't mean any offense to anybody, but I don't know if this is Jimmy. 
The red all the way around the exterior pedals is completely holiday. If this is Jimmy, something's up. It can be nerve wracking doing your own style. Moving on to the second tattoo. That was mine. It is a style battle, and this drawing is the staple. The little white highlights on the edge of the green leaves, nice. Edge of the flower that's white with the red faded out, nice. But anywhere in this tattoo, the black is not as dark as the outline. Might have got me, Hiram. We'll see. And now the Japanese face off. That's mine. Very stylized take on a Hanya. The red in the chin is really solid. But then up in the forehead, the red is just going in every direction. It's a lot of messy application. Damn. The second tattoo. There's my little monster. This thing is 100%, without a doubt, upside down. That's insane. It needs to be drawn to going up. You can't just take a fish and turn it upside down. The butterfly wings for fins are very strange. Technically, it's applied well, but I just dislike the look of this tattoo immensely. But I didn't match your technical application. Or arguably, looking upside down is just a huge technical error. Yeah, oh, man. All right, fine line black and gray face off. That's mine. It's very strange. It's very piecemeal. There is some smooth shading. I like the deep set black, but the hair is very, very messy. There's this fine line kind of outlining in there, and then everything's just messy. Let's take a look at the second fine line black and gray. I like the drawing. The woman is beautiful. But as far as hitting a fine line challenge, this didn't really work out. This line that's around these broken pieces doesn't look like a fine line at all. On the edge of the tiger's face, there's no fine line, line work visible. Damn. That's like probably my favorite tattoo I've done since I've been here. Let's have a look at the Biomech face off. That one's mine. This has a very strong bio look to it. There's some really nice, solid color in this. It's missing a major component. Black. Heavy black. It's just so washed out and pale. I had six hours to do a Biomech tattoo. Let's take a look at the second tattoo. That's mine. This tattoo has a very unfinished feel. Nothing is put in solid. Even in the more finished center, all those outlines are scratchy and weak. It's a mess. Damn. I just started trying to scramble just to get some shit in there. Today, you had to face off in a head-to-head -head style battle. Each of your tattoos has been ranked by the judges. Win your style battle, and you'll be safe from elimination. Lose, and you could be packing your machines. Yeah. Half of you will be up for elimination, and two of you will be going home. That's tough. It's time to reveal the winner of each style battle. Jason and Jessa, you faced off tattooing Tribal. Let's see who won this style battle. That was mine. Oh, shit. Jason, I felt like your design just left your outline a lot more open for scrutiny. The more solid black was more of what we're looking for in a tribal challenge. Jessa, congratulations. You are safe from elimination. Have a seat. That means, Jason, yeah. you are up for elimination. Jimmy and Hiram, you faced off tattooing American traditional. Let's see who won this style battle. I did that one. Wow. Nobody outshined anybody in one section, and nothing screams American traditional more than an eagle. I didn't want to just go with a typical thing. Congratulations. Hiram, you are safe from elimination. Remember how I helped you out today? You're going to have to help me. Have a seat. Jarrell and Bob, you faced off tattooing Biomech. Let's see who won this style battle. That was mine. Bob, congratulations. Thank you. Jarrell, what happened here with this tattoo? She let me tattoo her for about three hours or so, and then she just quit. That is one of the breaks in this competition, man. You took a bad one here. If Jarrell would have been able to completely finish his tattoo, it might have been a different outcome. I mean. I don't feel like I earned it by any means. All right, Bob, congratulations. Please have a seat. Hey, sorry. Kelly and Raul, you faced off tattooing Japanese. Let's reveal the winner of this style battle. Who did this one? I did. Yes, it's clean, but it defies gravity. Kelly, you are safe from elimination. Thank you.
Frank and Angel. You faced off tattooing fine line black and gray. Let's take a look at who won this style battle. That's mine. Frank, I think you just did a huge tattoo that got out of hand. Angel, your design is a little more cohesive. Congratulations, Angel. That means that you're safe from elimination.